Man, last couple of days, it has felt so wonderful yeah. outside. Makes you think of spring, so let's think of the outdoor markets. Right. Because, hey, Capital Market in Charleston, we have the executive director, Evan Osborne, and Alan Hathaway, the owner of Purple Onion, coming in to talk about let's get back to the market. Yes. yes. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you. This is one of those must stop places my mom and I love to go to mm -hmm. in the spring to see what you have out there. You brought some of your items here. But we want to find out what all is coming up because April will be here soon. Spring opens up a whole new world for you guys. Yes. So we're tremendously fortunate at the market to operate uh -huh. year round. But just like most farmers markets, we really kick off come April 1st. And uh -huh. no fooling. We'll, we'll be doing it again this year. <laughs> That's what, definitely. With what? What will be out there? So if people have never visited you, what's there? absolutely the thing that makes the market so unique is not only inside are we home to nine, you know, world class indoor uh -huh. tents, but uh, really we're a celebration of all things seasonal. So starting in April with our spring season, that's really an opportunity for sh for us to showcase some of our flower and greenhouse growers. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it uh, Mother's Day madness because yeah. literally <laughs> Mother's Day weekend for us at the market is is our Black Friday. Definitely. And um, we then transition throughout each season from summer to produce fall we've got pumpkins and mums uh -huh. and obviously in the holidays we're gonna we're gonna try and tell you a Christmas tree. Uh, definitely but I mean Alan you're you're working it year-round inside with a lot of locally uh, produced products and even some from around the world. That's right we have the purple onion inside the mm -hmm. capital market which is the gourmet store with a little bit of everything mm -hmm. and hard to find items and on the other end the West Virginia marketplace which features things that are made here in West Virginia and we say if it's made here, it's sold here. Yeah, that's, that's cool. nice. Yeah, because I'm keen in on the honey because I love honey uh, and all these other products, uh, locally produced wines. Now, this is an interesting story. Do you want to mention about your noodles, your pasta? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> The Bona Fortuna, it does come from Sicily. It is imported to us, with, along with their sauce, which you uh -huh. hard to see there. Yeah, it's on the other side so of that. Yep. It comes from the Corleone family, and it's been in... Like the real the yes, Corleone, the Corleone yeah. family, yes. uh -huh. and it is excellent products. Uh, we have people come in from miles and miles away just to purchase their products. That is amazing. So it is a good place to just, you know, if you want a special gift for someone, or if you just want to do your grocery shopping, you've got fresh produce. It's amazing. Well, tell us about it. Yeah. Tell us more about the store. Uh -huh. We do a little bit of everything at Purple Onion. It's kind of like, I always say, it's most un your most unique shopping experience yes. you'll ever see. Uh, we offer lunch options that are made daily fresh, uh, uh -huh. whether salads or takeout. And then we have gourmet foods, produce. We have gifts. We have candles. We have collectibles, comic books. You name it. It's all within the store. It's You can spend several hours in there. You really Browsing. can. You yeah. can spend a day, you know, inside Listen and to outside. The, I've been there, done that this. attitude. Yes, <laughs> eat lunch with mom there. I mean, right. we, yeah, you can really Do you have any special time. programs coming up? Absolutely. So, a lot of people don't realize that the market itself, we're a 501c3 nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And so, we host these community events throughout the year. And I'm excited to say that uh, we're bringing back the Green Chili Shootout on, yes. oh, cool. on, on uh, Saturday, March 16th. Uh -huh. um, we haven't done it since 2019. COVID, you know, obviously. Put Messed a up a lot of people. Pop. Yes. Yeah. And uh, this is really one of those rites of spring, not just for the market, but for the city of Charleston. Uh -huh. And uh, we're, we're just really excited to bring Can it Can anybody get involved? Yep, absolutely. So we still have a handful of spots available. Okay. For, we're going to have over 50 competitors alone wow. just, just uh, preparing. Uh, we've got a former world champion uh, that will be there. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're not quite sure that your recipe's ready for prime time, come come buy a tasting spoon for oh, 10 or 15 times. Well, we've got a tight shut of your hat right now, too, because <laughs> you've got to explain so that. Cool. It's not just a 304 hat. Absolutely. So, um, the the tomato is really one of those iconic symbols at yes. the market, yeah. and uh, we were fortunate to partner with the folks at 304 Tees, which you can purchase at the West Virginia market. They were just with us yes. yesterday, yes. so we just talked about uh -huh. them, yeah. Um, and so, but they had black bears in the middle of their O. All right, we're a little more partial to uh -huh. this, <laughs> the tomato. Like you don't sell black bear. <laughs> Not to the best of my knowledge. Not yet, but yeah. You can find everything else there, though. I uh, love but it. But if we want to keep up on some of the events you have coming up or what's in season this time of year. For sure. I encourage everyone to check out capitalmarket.net. That's capital with an O. That's an mm -hmm. important yep. distinction. Mm -hmm. um, not only do we have a full list of our events uh, throughout the year, uh, we try to really do a great job highlighting our small businesses yeah. and things like, you know, when Purple Onion brings a new 
product in. We like to showcase yeah. and feature that. Um, and just, it's really a great opportunity to learn how to shop the market. We've got recipes yeah. from uh, Chef recipes. Paul Smith, and we're fortunate to partner with I think with he it. can cook a little bit. He knows a yeah, thing he or two. Just he a little, little. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Ethan, Alan, thanks so much for yeah. coming in. It's got us geared up. It's springtime. Let's get going. It, it, it's right around the corner. <laughs> Love it. Guys, yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, up next.